everybody and welcome back. I am so excited for today's video because I have this beautiful woman next to me. Go ahead Hi and introduce guys. yourself. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Camila Bravo and I am so excited to be here with I you. I love set. it. She did this like Camila Bravo. <laughs> well, I want to quickly tell you guys about how we came together because before yesterday we did not know each other no, at all. Absolutely not. Um, so I want to share this story with you guys really quickly because I think it's really important for women to come together, to have each other's backs, especially in our industry. Absolutely. You don't see it very often. I feel like more yes. like it should be happening more than it is. I reached out to her on Instagram and she reached back out to me and we put this little collaboration uh, date together and here we are. So I drove two and a half hours to meet somebody I didn't know <laughs> and you know what it was totally worth it we ended up hitting it off got a little drunk last night yeah. <laughs> I think we had as, a good time as long as drinks are involved it's always a good yeah it's always a good time. Cheers. <laughs> Today we are going to be um, just kind of doing a get ready with me. She's going to be doing her makeup. I'm going to be doing my makeup and I'm going to be asking her a few questions. She'll be asking me a few questions. So it's kind of like we're getting to know each other with you guys as well. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. So without further ado, are you ready to get started? Yeah, I'm ready. Yay! Go ahead and get I started. I told you, he's getting hotty. He's going to get hotty here. Okay, so what are you using for your skincare? If you guys don't know, she's like a makeup pro, okay? Okay, so everybody go make yeah, sure so that you guys look her out. So what do you start out with? Like what's your first step? Well, I already prepped my skin and I already did moisturizer, uh -huh. which everybody should not skip your skincare before you do your makeup. And then I move on to primer. So I am going to be using this one from Woo! Tuesdays, the Primer and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. And I am not oily. I am normal to dry. Okay. But you can always do a little bit of modifying just because it's so hot outside. Especially oh today my is like gosh. I did not know what I was getting myself into coming to Philly. I was like, it is like Vegas weather, but 100% humidity on top oh, of it. Oh, absolutely. So you want something that you want to hydrate your skin, but you also want to do something to mattify it as okay. well. Okay. She also gave me these two things to try. So yes. the first one, uh, we have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. I already prepped uh, my face with moisturizer, but you know, my skin is as thirsty as a hot girl on a hot girl summer. I'm also going to use this Glow Recipe Ultra Fine Mist on top of that. It's so, so good and it smells so amazing. Oh, I can't wait. Oh my gosh, this smells so... <laughs> I'm like, mm. Can you drink it? Let's like, I know. You know what it's... It smells like a... Like agua fresca? Like a... Wait! Salia. What? <laughs> what? I <laughs> thought you were gonna do the Spanish video. Did it smell oh, like that's right! That's right, that's right. okay. See, no, so, that, no, no. Oh my God, okay. So here's the thing, I Thank told God. her... Thank I God wanted, I caught it. You did, and you know what? I'm almost like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she speaks Spanish very well, as you can hear in her accent, and I am very like whitewashed, Americanized, but I'm also a Latina, and I do speak Spanish, but just not very well. So I told her, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to do this video as much as I can in Spanish. <laughs> Pero no puedo hablar en español muy bueno, pero it's okay. We're gonna, it might like a Spanglish, okay? So we're gonna just, just bear with me and don't come for me in the comments because. So wait, should I speak Spanish? Oh no. Yes, right? Okay, bueno, entonces sí. I may have to have you uh, repeat a couple things, but it's fine. Yo pienso que se va a estar divertido y está bien porque así practicas. Eso, eso es lo importante, practicar. So I already did my primer. Okay. Oh, ya me hice el primer. Mm -hmm. No sé la verdad cómo se dice eso en español primer, pero es un primer. Es un primer. Sí. I can say primer. Okay. And the next step? Bueno, y ya luego me voy a aplicar la base. La base. Oh, that is the last is like your base? Yes. Okay. La But base. how do you say like foundation? Is that how you say foundation? La base. Mm -hmm. La base. Sí. Oh, I'm learning. Girl, coming for your <laughs> career. Watch out. Entonces vamos a poner la base. La base. <laughs> And I'm going to be using Too Faced. Too Faced. No, vamos. 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 Esta es full cobertura, o sea, que tiene una cobertura. You can tell who does this on Instagram for a living and who doesn't. I'm like, 
yeah, I don't know if I could do the Spanish thing. I'm sorry. I'm like, just talking in those <laughs> couple minutes, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to be so lost. <laughs> Pero tú no me entiendes igual cuando yo hablo o sí me entiendes? No, sí, 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 pues, sí, wait, how do you say, sí, I can't even talk, I'm telling you, it's so bad. Sí, te entiendo. Sí, te entiendo. <laughs> Para mí también es un poquito como que ya no sé ni, ya estoy confundida, ya estoy confundida de cómo tengo que hablar, si el inglés o no sé. Camila, I can't, I'm like, it's so bad, I, like, I still don't even know what you just said. You guys, I used to speak Spanish, that was my first language, was Spanish, and now, mm -mm. I have one sentence like really down packed. <laughs> so when people say like, oh, do you speak Spanish? I'm like, oh, no, cuando estaba más chiquita, sí, pero ya no, porque. Si sí, no es, pero si no es bien. I know, but then it's like, I don't know what to say after that. <laughs> <laughs> then when they start asking me more questions, I'm like, you just heard me say I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> do you do a full coverage? Or do no, you like a. No siempre, no siempre. Not always. I, I. What's your favorite, like, what's your go to. But because Look. we're like filming, y ahorita yo le voy a hacer el maquillaje a ella, right? I'm doing mm -hmm. makeup next. So, entonces quiero wait. estar bien, you know, pues para la cámara, me mm -hmm. pongo full coverage. Okay. Pero igual un día, like every day, I will use like a, something like a CC cream, like I mm -hmm. love the one from um, the CC matte now, but it's like everything matte for the summer. Guys, anything matte. Um, I hate I to put you on blast because I know, you know, like we both work with brands and everything, we're being yeah. respectful. But in your opinion, what is your favorite like foundation? What's your mm. favorite foundation for maybe full coverage and one for well I every day? love and I feel like my followers know that I love the Peach Perfect from Too Faced and it's very underrated, but it's so really freaking good. I, I haven't used, used it. I wanted to use it on you. Yes so good because it's actual oil control is like photo friendly it's photo finish friendly i don't know oh, it's good. just it has like a bunch of things but it, it honestly is so good because it's it's not it's like a velvety uh, matte finish but it's not super heavy it's like good i love long lasting that, like velvety feel yes have you ever tried the tart it's like in the tube it's like in a little tube. It's only this big, but mm -hmm. it feels like mousse. Like it almost feels like oh, a, like a whip. Oh, the Amazonian clay. It's not the Amazonian clay. It's the uh, it's like a tinted moisturizer. It's so good. I think that one's super underrated too. Yeah, no, I have not tried it. I love the Rainforest of the Sea. It's also really good because it's a mm, water based yes. foundation. So it's, I actually I use that, that for brides. It's so good and it has SPF, so you put, you protect your skin. That's another thing, people. If you are not using anything with SPF, like. What are you doing? Because this is so important. I never even really made it a part of like my everyday makeup routine until just maybe the last like six months. But I do try to use like a, if it's not in my products, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to put it on too before I put What's your favorite on. though? Foundation? Yeah. Um, as of right now, I used to be obsessed with Maybelline Fit Me. And I used to wear oh, the yes. Dewy and the Matte and Poreless. I love them both. But I feel like right now, I really like that stick. The one the, from the tart stick. It's like just the stick. That's I the just, Amazonian clay, but on stick form. In the stick form, mm -hmm. yes. I really do like that one. It like blends out so nice, and it looks really good on your skin. And it, I also feel like it kind of um, fills in like any pores, like the pores and stuff around like my nose area. Yeah, I like from drugstore. I like the Super Stay. The one that I'm using now from Maybelline. It's really good. I actually really like the one that you're talking about. The, fit the Maybelline. I but love the matte. That one. I love the matte. Mm -hmm. Matte and poreless. I like that one too. So you know? next. Step. I'm gonna do, yeah, my bra, I mean, the stick, I wanna try the stick. Yes, I'm using this one. This is one of my favorites. It's so, from I was Beauty. gonna ask you, you started on Instagram, correct? So she started off on Instagram, but I always was curious of how, like, how long it took you to get to where you're at now. Um, so it's been like, it's about, like, I think this year, it, it, it marks four years of me being on, on Instagram nice. and doing, yeah, and doing this full time. I've been doing it for two years now, so it's been it's been a blessing. It's been a really, really That's good journey. Good. On Instagram, I'm just now starting, but I am always curious to see like how long you know people have been doing it because everybody's gonna be different. I think when people first start doing either Instagram or YouTube, they want instant success, and I want to just reassure you guys, it takes time. Time for one. Focus, you have to be consistent. I think consistency is probably oh. the most important one. Absolutely. I For sure. Key. Consistency. Um, I was Especially now, more than ever, that a lot of people are doing 
you know, content creator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just telling her that um, the first time I met Desi Perkins, I asked her about my channel and like anything that she gave me, like as far as um, advice and stuff like that for YouTube. And she told me, she was like, the more they see you, the more they want you. But the second you stop and you disappear, like no one's gonna remember you. So you have to be consistent and just... It's like a novela. If a novela is that consistent every day, you forget <laughs> and you move on to the next novela. Because there's always somebody else that'll take your place, right? Yeah. There's so many people that are doing it. Also, just because you see another YouTuber doing something or another influencer doing something, it's their niche, you know what I mean? Like that's what m works for them. That doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna work for you too. I always tell people, just be yourself and really like, you know, own it. You have to own. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody's unique in their own way. So if you wanna do it to absolutely. be yourself. Absolutely, I agree. I love it. Yeah, it's so nice. It's like the I never knew shade. which shade, I was gonna say, I never knew what shade to get from this. So this yeah. is the Mocha. Mocha, yeah. This is, we're using the Fenty Beauty, um, the matchstick. This is in the most color mocha. Okay, we're we're killing this. We're and we're doing it together, which is I nice. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay, so next I'm going to I'm do loose powder. Here. I'm gonna mm -hmm. set my under eye real quick. And for some reason I've been doing my thing backward. I feel like I'm doing brows not last, but I after foundation. I do brows instead of doing brows first. Is, is this the, which one is this, Too Faced? No, this oh. is the MAC. This oh, the is Patrick, Patrick Star. Star. I wanna try yeah, it. Yeah, try it, it's really good. <gasps> it feels, oh really? my gosh, I love it. Yeah, it's very loose, very loose. Don't mind these bags, it was from last night. <laughs> like I said, we had a little bit too much fun last night. Yeah. So she showed me around Philly, which was really nice. It's a cool city, I have to say. Really I have really enjoyed you, it. You I forgot like to, it. you know what we forgot to, well, I guess another day, but because we ate, but cheesesteaks. I'm not a big fan of cheesesteaks, oh. but you know, like it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a so thing we have, I have so to do that the next time. You need to try it at least. So we didn't guess, do the Liberty Bell. We didn't do the cheesesteak. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know. I show you where it was though. Okay, right now I'm just face? setting the rest of my face. This powder. This one is from Laura Mercier. It's called Bronze Number Two, and this is like a starting bronzer. So this is like, yeah, the beginning. It's like a little. It gives you a little bit of color all over. This is like an everyday kind of like bronzer kind of thing. You see, it's not like mm -hmm. too much. I like it. I'm telling you, I used to be obsessed. Like everything I had complexion wise was this Maybelline Fit Me oh, for the really? longest time. And I had tried so many different things and I still would always like go back to the Maybelline Fit okay. Me stuff. But like the concealer, mm -hmm. um, I used to use both of like the foundations, the powder. I love it. I think it's so good. Is that like a powder foundation or that's just a This is a powder, powder foundation. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is. But I just kind of like. Isn't it so funny too how everybody has like their own like way of yeah. doing things? I feel like that's an also a good way to do full coverage when you do a foundation mm -hmm. and then you use a foundation powder over it and it gives you like that nice flawless finish. BH Cosmetics bronzer palette. I'm actually trying this for the first time so I don't know if this is gonna be good but we're just gonna try it. It's funny as I feel like we're the same shade and everything. Yeah. Well, I did I do this you. on purpose or did I do this ever? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all scrolling through Instagram I'm like hmm. Which which uh which girl media blender has this me? I really did it. I swear it just happened to end up that way. As she mentioned before, she's gonna be doing my makeup too, and I'm very excited. I don't remember the last time anybody's done my makeup. Like it's oh, been I'm so, so long. excited about that. I think the last time somebody did my makeup was when I first started working at Sephora, just to like teach me um, certain things for my um, like certification, mm -hmm. and that was it. And it wasn't even like full blown makeup. It was just like certain little tiny steps that they had to teach you. Do you want to try like a specific color or something like for the eyes? Anything you have in mind? Okay, so here's my deal with my eyes and I'm sure that I'm not the only one. This okay. one's like good, but you see how I have the little flap and then this one has like three lines. I hate it or two lines. So every time I do my makeup, I have never been able to get them. See, mira. Oh, how this okay. one goes up and this one goes down. And I have a lazy eye, so I always feel like when I do my makeup. Really? You have a lazy eye? I never, yes. I never noticed. I'm always, she's like, I've never noticed. I'm like, I've only so known you for one day. 
<laughs> I feel like we've known each other for a little while I now. I know, it really did work out so well for both of us. When I first met her, I was like, listen girl, I've had a day, okay? I need a drink. And she was like, well, I love to drink. I was like, perfect, it's a match made in heaven. So I'm gonna share this with you guys. I was just telling her like my little steal. Now I know it's like, I know this is an older palette, um, but this is the Becca and Chrissy collaboration. They did their little palette. So cute. So I went to TJ Maxx and I always go to their makeup section. If you guys have not looked at that section, you are missing out. They have so much stuff, especially if you're into like liquid lipsticks. They have a million different ones from, I mean like Anastasia, they have um, Stila, they have like so many, so many different brands. But this is a find that I just got and I loved it. And that was such a it steal. It was $14.99 and I couldn't believe it. And it That's was like so crazy. These are and this is pretty much everything I use. It has my bronzer, it has like um highlighter, uh blush, and I think this is a highlighter too, but I'm pretty sure. Oh no, it's a bronzer, but it has a shimmer to it. Either way, all I know is I didn't pay full price for it and I loved it. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I love when you have There's, a good steal. Here's the thing. I feel like especially right now, because makeup is such a big part of life for women like you know what I mean a lot of kids are starting to wear makeup like in high school a lot more than I feel like when I was in high school yeah I agree um I, didn't I even... actually wish I, I wore a little bit in high school like not not base but like mascara maybe a little bit of like yeah like cream blush or something people, lipstick yeah, the, I'm the like way I did not do wear anything the way people do their makeup now I'm like oh my god like, <laughs> we didn't I didn't even know what any of that was in high school it's crazy <laughs> You know where else I went and got um, all my skincare is the Neutrogena, the Hydra Boost. Oh yes. Everything, I have the eye cream, the um, the moisturizer, and I have a toner, I have everything. I got it all from Nordstrom Rack and it was also like $10 off of the regular price. Oh wow, yeah, they always have good, or hair products too. The yes, big, yes, sexy yes, yes. brand also. Bedhead, they have everything. Yes. I am doing my eyebrows now, something really quick. I love to use pencil, I used. I'm using here the Anastasia, the first time I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Really? Yeah, this is medium brown. That's, Very of nice. course, my shade too. Well, I actually tried it when I used to work at the beauty counter, but mm -hmm. I didn't like it because it was too stiff. Like, it was mm -hmm. hard to get the product. But now that I tried it after so many years, mm -hmm. I feel like so much better. I wonder if that was maybe so much like... Better. Did it happen when it first came out? Like when it I first think came so, out? I think so, yeah. yeah when the pomade was very, very popular. Like people didn't care about this pencils. So they cared only about pomade. I've never, I haven't used this whole palette yet. And I really like the way it looks. Wait, I thought you used it already. This is your first time using it? Yes, yesterday I used the, oh, I used oh, a mix a really of the other blush. one. I really yes. like it. Cool. So cute. Who is she? Ooh, who is she? <laughs> okay, so this is another product. I actually worked with them before and they, sent me this brightening makeup is from Borghese and I love it this is like been my secret because I feel like everybody always Which asks me they're like it's just oh, like, it's the, like a highlight, the highlight. Yes. I love the way it looks and it holds on to my highlight like I put it just right underneath it and it uh -huh. just holds on to it oh yes that's a good trick too when you do like mm. a liquid highlighter and then you put the powder over it it's just it's very light that's why I like it like it's that I mean you can make it heavier if you want but it also looks really good when it's just light can you imagine if I do your makeup and you end up like Chola like the girl <gasps> you would not do that to me at home oh my gosh oh my imagine God. Can you imagine like, yes, so I'm gonna do your makeup. And I'm like, you cannot yeah, do just gonna until the end. That would be really funny. What a good idea. But it has to be like a friend that doesn't care to look ridiculous on camera. Cause I feel like, I feel if like most of my somebody, friends are yeah, gonna be like, like, why did you do this to me? I know, like do not put this online. So I'm gonna go back in now with the same palette. All right, let's move on to Eyes. Are we on the same page? Are we on eyes now? Um, yes, maybe. I think I'm now I'm taking a little bit too much time. <laughs> maybe I should move on. <laughs> I'm just doing my highlight and then I'm good to go. Okay. Okay, so I definitely have like a rosy gold highlight going on, but it kind of matches the vibe, right? That's <laughs> like okay. the bronzy, peachy, yeah. Good, we're doing good here. Okay, so now I promise I'm gonna go on to my eyes. So I was just telling Camila that my brows have been kind of going through a transformation. I And it's so funny, my husband's like, so you're not gonna do your brows anymore? And I'm like, wow, like you seem very bothered by that. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I let my brows grow out. So now it's kind of like they're really bushy and super long up here. And I'm trying to do that like, work. should I try it now? Do you think I it's think really weird? I think you should try it. <gasps> okay, so, so she, she told me about this trick. Was it this one? Yes. This? Yep. Okay. So my friend actually taught me about this trick like to get that nice kind of like brushed up brow, like bushy brow kind of look. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. it's like hard to find like a product, like a brow gel to make them stay. And um, I was being her model, her class, and she, you know, like she oh, just- Oh, did she do that to your brows too? Yes, she did it to my brows that day. So do I do my brow products first? Or do I do this first and then kind do of go your brow over? product okay. first? I don't even know what to do with my brows anymore. This is very new for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, like, so here, like, I'll just go and, like, yes, fill this in. Yes, that, yes, I will do and that. And then I'll, like, just kind of, like, make my line. Uh-huh. But I feel like you also have to maybe work a little bit on the arch, but, like, on the, yeah, on here. the top. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. It's not about putting product all over the brow. It's, like, knowing like where, where you to have. fill it in. Yes. I love have you those. seen, I think it's Glossier, I think has the, Four. the pen. Like where you, it literally looks like hair strokes. Have oh, you yeah, seen that it? one? <gasps> That's what this is. Yes. Oh, it's so exciting. It's like a little. I can't this wait one. To try it. Yeah, yeah, this I one. I want to get your stuff mixed up, but here, this one. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god! Da, da, you guys da, da, look. Da. It's like a. It's like a. It looks like an eyeliner. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I'm so excited. Getting hot in here. Yes. <laughs> Time for a drink. <laughs> She just whipped out a fan. <laughs> I was like, fan me down, girl. Fan me down. All right, let's see if this works. Woo. I'm scared to, I'm gonna make the wrong like mark. No, just try it. All right. <sighs> this is so cool. Oh my God, you guys, we're doing it. We're doing it. And it's like working. I'm just kind of like, All right. small little flick. So now while you do your brows, I am going to start with my eyes and I'm gonna use a color like this, like orangey too. I'm gonna do something very simple because I know you're gonna catch up on me very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm doing something very simple. It's like a smoky, like full blown smoky. I look over and you're gonna have like a Imagine. full face on. Yes. And then do the glue once you're done. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, well, I don't know why, but when I do my brows, I can't talk. I'm like so focused. And when I used to do makeup on people, oh my gosh. Okay, so she used to freelance too. We both used to freelance. What would, what was like one thing that you feel like was like a constant, like people would always do? You know um, what I mean? Like you were just like, ugh, you know? So, it has to be something. Yeah, I feel like, let me see. Like mine, every time I, I would do like mine is when people, I would do their, they're like if I'm doing their eyebrows or something and they're talking because I you know I rest my hand here yeah. with my little oh, no, pad, no, and people start talking and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> trying to keep up I'm like all right girl you just I gotta think stop it's talking. The liner. I think the liner is like when you're like so concentrated uh -huh. and like they're talking to you and you're like just give me you're like if you want this to work out yeah. I need if you, you to want stop it to talking. look like the other eye <laughs> just Zip it and then <laughs> give And you know what I think started happening a lot too? Um, this happened a little bit later in my like freelance um, career, but when people started, they would come to you with what they wanted and they'd tell you how to do their makeup as you're doing their makeup. Oh, okay. Yes, that's another thing. Oh my yes, God, like, is. do you trust me or do you trust me? Because this isn't gonna work yeah, out. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I hate that when, you know, when like, you haven't even started and they already complaining about something. And I'm like, what are not yeah. done yet. Or when they look, okay, so I'm like, apparently I have a lot of things. <laughs> um, when they want to look after everything you do. Oh yeah, like, like they want to hold the mirror. Absolutely. And then you'll look. But you know what? It's, it's funny because I got used to that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't intimidate me when a person want to hold the mirror. I actually just like like to hand them the mirror so they feel I guess more secure and they see that I don't really mind. Yeah, like um, you're confident in your yes, what you do. Yes, but it's also I got used to that because at Mac all the time you got to give the mirror to the customer so they can always see themselves mm -hmm. and see what you're doing. So it's more like a teaching thing. They always wanted you that's to how, that's hand how Sephora the mirror. was too. They all yeah. look like um the soup not the supervisor but like the store director mm -hmm. like she used to do like walk bys like when you were doing makeup 
um, like makeovers and stuff. Yeah. And she'll like. Kind I mean, of at the beginning, is is intimidating, obviously, but I guess you get you. I got used to Same it. Same here. Just yeah. like handing them the mirror and, but there is some people that just take it to the extreme that they're like all the time with the mirror and like, it's like you do one little thing yes like if i were like, like this and they'd be like i don't i want to see yes that's another thing i'm like let me finish oh my god i remember it used to just be like a simple eye and now it's like cut I want crease a whole food. Yes. i want a double cut crease I'm like yes uh, i feel like they should give you 45 too. minutes now yeah because give it 15 minutes makeup more. looks are a lot different than they used to be it's not like just a simple eye look anymore you know and you were worried about you taking too long look at me <laughs> i'm barely on my eye my no eye. but you're doing good though because you did more with the wait did you do the glue on your brows or not yet not, oh i didn't i didn't i didn't i gotta make sure to do that though I want Just to so you can it. try it. Do you have an orange in yours? I'm going to use some of your orange. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, by the way, I'm using this. Is it Juvia's? Juvia's palette. Yeah. Juvia's place. It's the Nub Nubian 3 Coral. They have some really pretty shades in here, too. That's nice. That's nice. I love her palette. They have so many great The pigment colors. is amazing. Yes. <laughs> I know. Let's fan a little bit more. Let's fan a little bit more. <sighs> that feels oh, so yeah, good. Yeah. Look at my mascara. Just like I hate when that happens. What happened? Oh, it got on the bottom. Yeah. No blinking. <laughs> Loud. Don't freak out. Just let it dry. Do your thing. Do the rest of the face. Whatever. Because it end. comes off so much easier when it's dry. Yes. When you try so to take it off, it exactly. mirrors, mirrors all over. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna use oh, yes. sorry, just that one. No, absolutely. Orange. This is such a cute palette. Yeah, this is actually a collab that BH did with um, an influencer. Tina, Tina Young. Yeah, I met her. She's so nice. Tina, I love it. First she said she was going to do just oh, one. No. I was like, I'm going to do then just one color as well. And then she's doing like three colors. I'm like doing I should have went in. I should have went in with you. Let me see what she I just feel like I just was like, you know what? I had the idea and I was like, let me just run with it. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, we're getting there. I'm almost there. <laughs> I'm gonna get another. Do you have another highlight by any chance or no? No, I don't. To put on top. Oh, this one. Are you sure? It has a pinkish tone to it. Is that okay? It's okay. Okay. Oh, but you kind of have like that going on. <laughs> yeah, so like okay. the pinkish, yeah. Like the peachy. It's like peachy. I'm gonna use the Becca palette. I actually have not. I don't have. Oh, wow, I like oh. it. Peachy perfect. <laughs> That's the name of this tutorial. Okay, so since I've been having the bushy brows, because you okay. already know, if you do any highlight or anything on top, it's going to accentuate the hair. The hairs. Yes. So I haven't been. Uh huh. But what do you think? You can do slightly bit. Like here? Yeah, there. Go. No, no, no. Right oh, here. Like only, yes, at the arch. Oh, I just feel like it's going to make it stick out more. But. I mean, I guess that's why I'm letting them go out. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Yeah, still just a little nice. bit. Just. I was gonna say, I think that's even. Because what you can do is do just it. Just it catches the light a little bit. And then do a clear brow gel over it, so it brings back the light to the hair, but you still highlight it underneath. That's yeah, I do like it. I haven't even done. I haven't done any under like my brow bone for mm -hmm. since I've been growing them out, but I do like it. I never mm -hmm. used a lash primer. Probably not since I was like. A lash primer? A lash primer, yeah. Oh, like the white one. Oh my gosh, because I don't have lashes like yours. Mm. Like my lashes are, they're like very thin and non-existent. But anyway, I used it and it made them like really thick. Like you could feel it when you put it on, it makes them really thick and then it like makes like volume. Them really, oh. Yes, oh my God, and it's when working great. That is a great. great mascara too, the Lash Paradise from. Because look, look, I just did two oh, little wow. things and yeah. already it already pulled it up and made it yeah. look like more thicker. Look at that, it just made them longer. Yeah. Do you see? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm about to get a, an amplifier thing here. Hey, what do you call <laughs> Una lupa? Como es una lupa en inglés? No sé qué es. What is that? Lupa? Una lupa. Yo sé que tú sabes. La lupa que tú puedes como mirar las cosas más grandes. Oh, magnifying glass. Yeah, but it's but, not the mirror, it's a glass, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm about to put one on. I have a one magnifier. Over here. Magnifying glass. 
had it. I had it from somewhere around here. You guys, I wish you could see what my lashes looked before this compared to like now. Look at the they they were not like that before. Oh well, yeah. It works so good. And now put the black. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it like this. <laughs> I'm gonna do the glue. Let me do the glue while that dries. Oh yes, I wanna okay. see how that works. So I just go like this. Yes. <laughs> it's just like, whoa. <laughs> it is working though. Okay guys, so the lash glue definitely does work. That is a good tip. Really great it's tip. A good, right? It's a like, very wow. good makeup hack. Wow. I feel like that is better than the spray. <gasps> oh my God, they don't, they're not moving. No. Like I just tried to comb through it and it didn't let me. <laughs> it was like, no girl, you're set. You're set already. Don't try like to come back emoji, and fix me. That the yeah. emoji. <laughs> That's exactly what just happened. This whole little collab is like the highlight of my year, I think. Aww. So it's been so fun. She's so much fun. Yeah, All we've been I'm doing so is laughing. <laughs> All yeah. we've laugh. It's great. Yeah, we had a great time yesterday too. I can't wait to take over New York. Oh, to a whole blow. Oh, yes. <laughs> if you're working towards your goal, sometimes you gotta make, I guess, sacrifices. Cause yes. you're doing a sacrifice too for yourself. I mean, driving here two hours, two hours and whatever with traffic, no traffic, it's still a hike. Yeah, you know? yeah it really is. Even though it didn't feel like it was that bad, but but it is for mm -hmm. you. It's a sacrifice, and I feel like you know, it's 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 hard. So. A lot of props to her for coming all the way here. And it was totally worth it. It was. <laughs> and like, this is the thing. Sometimes you gotta make those suckers. Like for me, I used to like travel all the way to New York, spend so much money to go there and be able to network and meet people. But it, it helped, right? It but it benefited helped. you. Yes. So I think it's also doing things out of outside of your comfort zone uh -huh. and like not so be so stuck on your little bubble, but actually try to like get out and do things differently, you know? That is 100% true. Even going to LA, like I know sometimes, I don't know what exactly is gonna happen. I don't know, like not everything is planned out, but I always make sure that I put myself in a position to either meet people new or meet other like YouTubers, influencers, whatever it is. Um, but that, like you just said, I mean, that's like going to New York. You know, you have to kind of take a chance and. Yeah. If nothing's ever gonna happen by you just staying at home or absolutely sitting still. No. Look at these lashes. Oh. Let me see. Oh, but you know what? Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. They. I'm you know telling what? you, if you, you saw the regular, you know what's so funny? But I, I'm actually. I see that you let it dry first, the white one. Mm -hmm. The white primer. You let it dry because every time that I use those white primers, I feel like it makes my mascara gray. And I, so I think it's because oh. I don't let it, I don't let it sit there. I don't you know what though? Yesterday I didn't let it dry. I just went right into it, and I feel like I was taking it off when I was putting on my mascara. So it just made it weird. So yeah. So today I was like, I'm gonna just let it dry and then go in, and it actually made a big difference. Like it, it I think it looks a lot better that way. Wow, what a big difference. Yeah, if you would see me with just regular mascara on my normal lashes without the primer. You're like, what lashes? I don't see anything at all. I really Six like you, what you have on your lips. Oh, this is, uh, if you want to use it. I think I do. Laura I'm Mercier. Just off, Cause I feel like I don't have enough on. This is the Laura Mercier in Saffron. I love her lip liners, they're so good. And this is from NARS. This is the color Orgasm. Ooh. Yeah, this is You really can't cool. go wrong with that. Any nope. of the products are so good. <laughs> all of the Orgasm products are good. Oh! <laughs> Girl, we're getting close real quick. <laughs> this Corona is doing the effect. <laughs> she said we can't go wrong with that. She's like, wow. I'm gonna use for the first time the Tarte Stay Spray. You guys, I never wear lipstick, but today I am like a whole different person. Smells good. I love it. Oh, what is that? Mm. Oh, it smells so good. So good. Mm. I'm shook. This is the first time that I tried it. I'm gonna use that for perfume. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, They're so like, good. so what perfume do you use? I'm like, the stain spray by Tarte. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like, I don't, it's like a refresh. Yes, it's very refreshing. And also like a little manly, right? Mm -hmm. Like a little melon. It has like melon, yes. It smells very good. Or like a little bit of cucumber. It is cucumber. <laughs> right? I think that's what it is. That's what I'm smelling. I'm almost done, I'm almost done, I swear. You know the only reason why I don't wear too much bold colors? 
is because and it looks so good on you oh thank you but i hate it because every time it gets on my teeth and i hate it's such a high maintenance for uh, you to, to work uh -huh, with it Ooh. I feel ready. I'm digging the brows. Oh my gosh. Yes, touch them. I want to touch them. You see that? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> your face. Oh my god. I had to do it. I had to. I'm sorry. Oh my god. That was so funny. Oh shit. Oh, you even scared, scared me. Again. Wait. I scared you, but then you scared me. Wait. Can I touch it now? Yes. Go ahead. I swear I won't do anything this time. Go ahead. Touch them. They feel great. <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> You're like, you don't need to put the makeup anymore. <laughs> oh my god. I got, I really have to admit, I got makeup you Makeup by Camila. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done like makeup like this in a long time, I feel like. Mm. I've been loving mixing sprays. Oh, I want to, I want to. Yes. I want, sh which one should I do first? So I always do the setting spray. Mm -hmm first and this is more of a glowing mist oh okay so, so it keeps you like looking. so it gives you like a little glow back to your skin because okay. sometimes setting sprays can like take away the moist kind of like ugh, dehydrate mm. your skin. this one just smells amazing mm. i had to catch it real quick okay are we are we done i think we're done we just have to take the headbands off. she said i think we're done the final reveal is to take our headbands off <laughs> <laughs> oh my god no, we need to do it. <laughs> like, now back. we need a hair tutorial. <laughs> yeah, now we need the hair. Come back. All right, guys. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. And I really hope you guys enjoyed my special guest, Camila Bravo. Make sure that you guys go hey. check her out. You can also check out her YouTube channel. She has it in her bio. So make sure to go subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.